He's, uh, he's most commonly known for his character, the Bear Champ, and uh, he's been illustrating, painting, and doing anything and everything art for the past nine years, having worked in the past as a cartoonist, a toy designer, and a graphic designer. His work has been featured in many places, including local spaces like Gallery F, various magazines, galleries throughout the world, and multiple online sites. Much of his work lately involves painting the streets of Chicago, which we're so thankful for, um, for you know, bringing so much culture and color to our city. So we can't wait to hear about your journey. Um, but before we get started, we know it's your birthday today, too. <laughs> So, we have a special surprise for you. Um, I'd like to invite Adelina to the stage. This is Adelina Longoria, and she's an amazing singer in a mariachi band. And uh, today she is be going to be singing JC a song for his birthday. All right. Give him a round of applause. Come on, we can do better than that, Chicago. <laughs> Let me, let me get your hands. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear JC. Happy birthday to you. Cumple. Thanks, Alelina. Um, we know you can't eat your cake now, so we'll save it for you for later. <laughs> I, I mean, you could try if you want to. <laughs> um, cool. Thanks, Sophia. And without further ado, I give you JC. Oh, okay. So, uh, this way, this way? Yeah. Back. Morning, everybody. Usually don't speak. I usually don't do anything I look like, you know. I paint, and that's what I do, but I decided to do it this time to everybody can, like, kind of know a little bit about me and maybe ask me a couple questions, and that's it. I'm pretty sure this is the only time I'm gonna do this, ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, my name is JC Rivera. I am an artist, and I've been doing art for, a, yeah, a long time, since I was little, I guess. Um, I, I guess professionally, I, I don't I don't know I don't know what people want to know but like I just want to show I just want to anyway I just want to talk like how I became oh how I where I am like how I survived pretty much I I'm from Puerto Rico moved to the US no English nothing like pretty much like I took a internship with Disney a college program I don't know if anybody done it uh, it was cool but I had no English I came by myself and pretty much started working for them. I finished the internship and I decided to stay in Orlando. I got, I was working with them, 9-11 happened and I lost the job. I got like three part-times to make, you know, like it was really rough, three part-times to make like a full-time, changing uniforms to like store to store or whatever. Um, seven, seven years doing that, working in retail or whatever. Uh, I started like, I bought a computer of a pawn shop, a Mac, for 150 bucks, and I it had Photoshop. Didn't know anything about Photoshop. I, I, went to, I went to college in Puerto Rico, but I went to, for computer science because my, my dad was saying like, you can't be an artist. My uncle is an artist and he just teaches and it's like, that's like no money in that. You have to go for computer science because I'm not going to pay for art. So. Yeah, so I, when, I, when I stayed in Florida, I decided to, um, well, I didn't go back, so I dropped out of college. 
So I kind of went and like, you know, getting different jobs and whatever. So when I bought that computer, it got me back into the art. It's like, kind of like, oh, this is cool. And I'm like, it's Photoshop. I started figuring it out by myself, kind of like, see how it works or whatever. So I saw, I learned about Illustrator too. So I started like, you know, playing around with Illustrator and everything and see how, and you know, Google and like, how can I like make a living doing logos or whatever. So I started going to like, on the internet, applying, putting a few logos together and applying like people like, hey, I can make your logo, I can do this for you or whatever. And nobody like <laughs> replied because you know, I didn't have any, like anything. So from there I, you know, started trying and trying and whatever. And I decided to move to Chicago to, to make it because in Orlando, I lived in Orlando, it was like really not seen and anything like that. So I decided to move to Chicago because it was either New York, Chicago, or LA. So New York was like way too big, too much competition, and also LA. So Chicago was like big enough that everybody in the world will see it, but it's small enough that I can stand out a little bit. So it's like kind of like, yeah, that it happened, like kind of like hopefully, you know? So when I moved to Chicago, I, I did the same. I started illustrating more and then doing like a lot of like really fine drawings. And a company, like a really small company, design company from the West Loop, three guys trying to make a clothing company. I say like, hey, we like your stuff. Can you come and you know work with us? Like do some illustrations. But I was like doing illustrations, but I was like bootlegging somebody else work. And I was like, well, I don't want to do this. It's like I don't want anybody to bootleg my work. So I I did it for a little bit, and that's when I started to figure it out. Um, it was like about 2010. I started to figure it out like, what can I do that is my thing, how can I do that is like my character or something that I feel proud of like doing. And that's when I, I look back when I was in Orlando, I sketched this bear with boxing gloves um, that I did it because I, was, I wanted to be a boxer when I was growing up. And, and my parents always, my mom was like, no, your face is gonna get all fucked up or whatever. <laughs> like, I'm, we're not gonna pay for it or whatever. So I'm, she ne like never let me or whatever. So I'm like, okay. So I sketched that based on that. And so I started like kind of like painting because I, you know, I, 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 some reason I figured out how to like paint um, acrylics and everything too. Like I said, I didn't go to school for art. I just completely everything, try to figure it out myself. Um, like no money, I came from like really like a small town in Puerto Rico. Like, yeah, my parents didn't have any extra money. I'm I'm the youngest of like three brothers, so I took whatever they didn't want anymore. They gave it to me. So, um, so I, I I started pushing or started like showing people. Oh yeah, I do this character or whatever, and then um, I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, I, I went to Blick Art in Lincoln Park to get supplies. And the girl that was working there, she's like, oh, uh, you're an artist? I'm like, yeah, I'll paint a little bit, but I do other stuff or whatever. And then she's like, oh, like, I, I curate a gallery in Pilsen, a show, whatever, like, if you want to some work or whatever. And I had already, like, 10 paintings with the bear. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's cool. I'm like, I had this or whatever. She's like, oh, that's a cool character or whatever. You can come and, like, you know, show or some work. And I'm like, okay. Um, I went and I showed some, and it was, like, the Pilsen art walk. So... I, Everybody was like, I don't know, we weren't expecting it. So everybody was like, what, what is this? Like, what is this, like, bear? Well, I, I used, to, used to have wings. The bear used to have wings and stuff. It's like, oh, it's a bear. It's like with wings and smoking a cigarette. Like, I don't know. I just say, it, nobody got it. And I was like, oh, okay. So I kind of, like, took the paintings and, like, put it back in my studio, whatever, and, like, collecting dust or whatever. So later on, this is, so I, I what's the, when Instagram came around, I was, uh, I was doing, I was doing, it got into the toy scene, uh, kind of like designing toys, like curious about it. So I, Instagram came and I was like really like into it, like photography and stuff. So I took their logo and I made the little toy based out of their logo and I sent it to them. I'm like, hey, this is, they had like 10,000 users back then. So I sent it to them, I'm like, hey, like, you know, I just did make this toy that based out of your character. I do, I do this like, that's when I was like starting to do the bear and I do all this stuff or whatever. I'm like a designer. I was calling myself that. But, and, and they're like, oh, we like it. This is really cool. Uh, we want to produce it. So I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. Like I was, I was always wanted to look, like find something that I was like, okay, you know, I feel proud of like doing. 
So I'm like, oh, like, okay, this is cool. And they're like, oh, we started talking and talking. And uh, we prototype it. I, I, think, I don't know if I have, a, I have a picture here. Oh, shit. Sorry. This is one of the prototypes of the bear, which I did eventually after the Instagram one. Uh, that one. So uh, we worked on the prototype, and then we did 30 for their offices. And we, we, when I was talking to the person that had that you know, power account, um, we're going to do it. It was going to work. Um, I woke up one morning, and then Facebook bought Instagram, and then everything stopped, <laughs> like right then. So yeah, they, no more emails, nothing. So I just said. <laughs> So anyway, so then it's like, I, I'm like, I want to, I wanna, you know, now I, I wanted to try, like, focus on, like, building the bear. This is one other one that I designed, which is the John Hancock. It's like, kind of cool. Huh? Yeah. So I, I wanted to, like, focus on, like, branding the bear and stuff. So I met a guy to, through Instagram that I wanted to buy some um, markers. Because he was selling, like, really cheap or whatever. And he was a street artist from here. And I'm like, oh, so I started hanging out with him or whatever. And he's like, oh, I have this character or whatever. He's like, come paint with us. I'm like, well, I haven't painted in a while. I haven't painted murals or anything. And it's like, oh, come hang out with us. Just hang out. And OK. So we went to Little Village, and we started painting. Um, and, and I'm like, OK, I'll paint. And I started pa I painting the bear, which is just the head. And, um, and you know, it's like, just for fun. And people are like, oh, I like it. I like it. I posted on Instagram. and. He was like, oh, shit, oh, that's cool. Like, you paint uh, murals too? I'm like, well, kind of, but <laughs> I just, you know, whatever. And so I painted that one, and somebody's like, hey, can you paint my garage? I'll pay you for it. I'm like, oh, wow, that's cool. So I painted the person's garage at 1 o'clock in the morning, drinking beer with him. It was a really cool experience. So I'm like, so I was like, this is, this is cool. You know, like, people actually like it. So then I painted it. I, I finished that one. And I, I, kept, I painted a couple of times, and I, I, I'll tag it around, do stickers and stuff, just for fun. And then one day, I was, I was working at a warehouse. And one day, like, I had got an email from uh, American Express. It's like, oh, we've seen your character on the internet or whatever. We want to do a, a campaign. It's called Shop Small. And got, we want you to paint a mural for us. And they first time I seen, like, an amount that it was like, like, yeah, holy shit, this is like <laughs> two months that I don't have to do anything, you know, kind of like that. Yeah, so I, I saw that, whatever, and I was like, oh, wow. I'm like, okay, yeah, for sure, for sure, I'll do it, I'll do it, whatever you want. So I did it, and then right after that, I think every, every like, I started getting like, you know, like different companies and everything, and the people like, I started posting more and I started painting more and everybody liked it and, and it kind of became like, people wanted like to see the bear more. And so at that point, I, I, I created the bear as like, um, kind of like, oh, my mom didn't let me like box or whatever, but then it became like, like rolling with the punches, you know? Like I'm, I'm 38 today and I, fuck, I've been around, you know what I mean? I, I've been through a lot of shit. I had no jobs, you know, like broke a bunch of times and everything, and like just keep pushing. Not rich either. I know somebody on the internet is like, oh my God, this guy's making so much money. Nah, I'm like, I'm a working artist. I know everything that I do is like, I, you know, I'm like, I work hard. I'm always like out there, like, you know, hustling and everything. Like, and one thing I learned, it was like networking, you know, don't burn, I don't, I don't burn bridges. I, I try not to, you know, it's always, but. Uh, and always networking, you know, trying to be nice with people, help other people. Artists that I can, um, that I feel like, you know, I mean, they're like really, really good. The artists out there, they're like really, really good, but nobody like look at them, you know, nobody see their work or anything. I try to help them, I'm like, dude, you're like really good, you know, like you're fucking better than me, you know. And they and they like, and they have like, I feel like a lot of people they have like advantage, you know. It's like you're already here, you have college degrees and everything. I I have like nothing, you know. If I can do it, like, I'm like broken English, like, dude, you know what I mean? Like, dude, like anybody can do it, you know? So, like, I, I still, you know, man, everything that I do, it's like, I try to work with different companies. I either, like, 
uh, proposal, they I get reached out to look to, hey, you want to do this with us? I'm like, yeah, this is fun, you know, or, or I propose to different companies when I see an idea, I want to see something that I like, that I want to do. Um, but that's, I think that's it. Like, that's my life in like, what, five minutes? <laughs> 10 minutes, yeah, but.